So it's the time to start the next session. Uh, it is a, a 10 year event of WDS IPO, World Data System International Program Office. So, uh, my name is uh, Yasuhiro Murayama of NICT, National Institute of Information and Communications Technology Japan, which is the host institute of the WDS IPO so far. So it's an honor for me to chair this session. And uh, today we are inviting important key persons from the key organizations, as well as from the WDS and ORCID. And uh, from WDS, I think Rory Edmonds, Dr. Rory Edmonds is to be speaker. Rory, can you hear me? Uh, yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay, yeah, you already, okay, nice, thank you. So. And now, and uh, I have to say that the uh, 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 scheduling of every speakers were not uh, able to meet uh, with each other, and so uh, we had made a decision that uh, pre-recorded videos will be ready for three speakers uh, from ISC president uh, Daya Reddy and the uh, chair and the vice chair of the WDS scientific committee. And I'm sorry for that, but I believe everybody understands the importance of this co-located event and symposium itself. And uh, I am also uh, would like to say thank you very much for the uh, most major symposium sponsor of such organization of information systems, Royce. So now uh, uh, let's start the session. The first three, I would like to welcome Professor Hideyuki Tokuda President of NICT. Uh, so, may I hand over the microphone to the uh, Professor Tokuda? Yes, uh, can you hear me? Yes, it's clear. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, let me start. Um, thank you for joining us for the 10th anniversary event of WDS IPO. Uh, my name is Hideyuki Tokuda, the President of the National Institute of Information and Communication Technology, NICT. Uh, WDS, the World Data System, is an international scientific program under the direct governance of ISC, International Science Council. Also, the Science Council of Japan has been a very close and friendly partner for us. Uh, Ten years ago, NICT was invited by the Science Council of Japan to try hosting the International Program Office of WDS for WDS IPO. Uh, we have been honored to be the selected hosting institution of WDS IPO. It was the very first experience for Japan to host an international program office of ISC business. Uh, I would like to thank all, all the stakeholders and related organizations for their continuous cooperation and support, including the Science Council of Japan Research Organization of Information and Systems, ROYCE, and the other related organization and research communities in Japan and from all over the world. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to you all for your cooperation. Uh, before WDS started, uh, NICT has held membership of World Data Center System since 1957. Uh, it is one of the predecessors of WDS. We have contributed to them with our space weather data collections and management for more than half a century. Uh, I understand that ISC has made the decision of the host, institu host institution not only for the reason of its information and communication organizations, but also for these long decadable contribution to ISC's international programs. NICT has been working to contribute to society through the use of information and communication technology, or ICT, and data technology in a variety of settings, taking into account the future vision of the Japanese government national plan, so-called the fifth science and technology basic plan, and its new frontier concept of Society 5.0. In the central government, the cabinet office has been discussing the future of research data 
and promoting to develop a research data infrastructure. I understand that NICT personnel and related people have been serving their data expertise in international meetings, organizations, such as the co-chair of a working group under the G7 Science Ministries meeting. It should be so excellent to find the NICT and Japanese community has been achieving such international contributions, which I believe have been available because Japan had this extraordinary opportunity, opportunity to closely work with WDS and ISC. In the future, global data and digital transformation of the society will be increasingly important for the economy, science and technology and the lives of citizens. It was a great honor for Japan to contribute to WDS during the past decade until this physical year, observing and contributing to the drastic changes of international landscape of data and digital infrastructure. I would like to express my sincere appreciation here to professors and staff of the International Science Council and the WDS scientific committee members for their effort. Their cooperation and development of this international expertise, uh, international ex enterprise have brought us a great partnership and collaborative development. And in Japan, we have been supported by the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications, the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology, MEXT, and all the other concerned parties for giving us this opportunity. Thank you very much for that again. Uh, today, uh, in these eye-opening changes of the society, NICT will take on new challenges, including IoT, AI, cybersecurity, and so on, of which will be indispensable for our society. At the same time, it was a really difficult decision, but we have to make our mind to be graduated from WDS IPO at the end of this decade. I believe this will lead us to future greater benefit for all of us to target the respective next challenge of you and us. The current pandemic with COVID-19 caused unexpected challenges, uh, changes in global and domestic economic situation and social life which were all unexpected even several months ago. To overcome this crisis, I strongly believe that the power of ICT and data is essential for controlling the spread of infection and maintaining our social activities and the world economy. Lastly, uh, I wish you WDS all the best to restart for your future endeavors I would like to thank you all participants for attending this event today. I would like to conclude my greeting by wishing you all continued success in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Tokuda. Uh, yeah, that's an, uh, it is very uh, exciting and uh, uh, present uh, message from the NICT. And uh, uh, next, I would like to uh, invite uh, Professor Ryoichi Fuji, uh, the president of the ROIS Research Organization uh, Information Systems. Uh, so could you uh, join us, uh, Professor Fuji? Oh, thank you. Distinguished guests, distinguished uh, scholars and colleagues, I'm Ryo Fuji for working for the research organization of information systems called uh, ROIS. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to give an address at this 10-year event of WDS IPO, which is co-located with the International Symposium Global Collaboration on Data Beyond Disciplines, which we, Royce, are honored to co-host. 
On behalf of the Research Organization of Information and Systems, I would like to congratulate you on the 10th anniversary of International Program Office of the World Data System. This time, as uh, Professor Tokuda also said, global spread of uh, coronavirus infection, COVID-19 has been changing the world in many aspects, and it is also the case in Japan. People, workers, and their employers are starting to realize that the traditional working style is not the only way, but that we have other options. For example, one of the options is working from home, which is good, but we also see a lot of issues, problems to be solved, hardware problems and software problems, including mental health problems. For this inevitable reformation, our society definitely needs systematic digital data collections and archives, digital data transmission, and the development of data-centric science. We, Royce, have been working on a new research field, information and systems science. In other words, academics and society have required us to advance data-centric science for dealing with complex system and to tackle world problems facing modern society, such as global environment problems and health and life issues. These problems obviously cannot be understood only by traditional first principle paradigms like physics and chemistry. For this purpose, Royce has worked to build a strong foundation for data and analytics by promoting collaborations among Japanese universities. Our organization has four major research institutes and a center. There are the National Institute of Polar Research, the National Institute of Genetics, the Institute of Statistical Mathematics, the National Institute of Informatics, and the Data Science Collaboration Center. All of them have been active in the field of uh, data science. For example, the National Institute of Genetics has been operating the DNA Data Bank of Japan as one of the three international nucleotide sequence databases and making the database available to worldwide scientists since 1987. The National Institute of Polar Research has been operating the World Data Center for Aurora since 1981 and recently they established Arctic Data Archive System and make the Arctic data together with the Antarctic data free to worldwide researchers. Most of uh, these uh, ROIS projects by the four institutes have been conducted in strong collaboration with various international scientific organizations and cooperation with the ISC and its committees such as WDS, SCAR, IASC. For promoting data-centric science based on open data and open science, we have recognized the importance of WDS that has been developing and promoting the collection and distribution of scientific big data and their management system. We very much thank the WDS for their great efforts into an integral role in this process and for their significant achievements. 10 years ago, before the WDS IPO was established, we had uh, often heard arguments in the Japanese scientific communities that research data preparation had been only a supportive activity for scientific research. I think the WDS IPO has dramatically changed this atmosphere. In Japan, the Science Council of Japan has been setting up several committees on open science and research data infrastructure development and they have published important suggestions and proposals to the public. Now the cabinet office and the government ministries have realized that, that those proposals will give a great impact on Japan's future science and technology policy. Looking at the global trend, for example, reports of OECD, I am convinced that Japan needs to devote much more energies to open data based on open science and data-centric science now in the, in the near future, both in academia and in society. I heard the 
that the National Institute of Information and the Communications Technology, NICT, is going to finish hosting WDS IPO. I would like to thank NICT for their great efforts, successful achievements, contributions to the international community for these 10 years. Taking this opportunity, I would like to congratulate WDS once again on your great successes and achievements and wish you continued success in the future. Thank you very much again and a very good day. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Fuji. Yeah, so uh, we are very much grateful for your contribution to the, uh, yeah, uh, not only the research community, but also for the digital uh, world uh, that the NICT has been working on. And uh, yeah, that's, an, uh, uh, this is not a specific session. We don't have a lot of time to have a <laughs> discussion, so that I have to go forward. But anyway, thank you very much. Thank you too. Yep. Uh, so uh, next, uh, uh, I would like to uh, uh, invite uh, Professor uh, Takeuchi, uh, Vice President of Science Council of Japan, Jaya Science Council, is uh, official uh, membership of the uh, International Science Council, and uh, it is a great honor to welcome the Professor Takeuchi. Uh, Professor Takeuchi, so uh, could you start your speech, please? Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Murayama-san, for your kind introduction. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Very yeah. Uh, I'm Kazuhiko Takeuchi, uh, serving as a Vice President of the Science Council of Japan in charge of international activities. On this uh, commemorating occasion of today's event, I would like to offer a few words to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the World Data System International Program Office, or WDSIPO, hosted in Japan. First of all, I would like to congratulate WDSIPO for the great growth it has achieved over the past 10 years. I understand that the international community is increasingly having a great expectations for the future enterprise of WDS based on the race reputation and achievement internationally in recent years. For Japan, it was the first time to host an international program office of ISC. It was a great challenge for NICT, the National Institute of Information and Communications Technology. I would like to express my heartfelt thanks to them for their effort to successfully implement and promote these unprecedented challenges. Of course, it became available based on the support by the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications as found in the agreement between IAC and NICT, the Science Council of Japan is in a position to assist in this effort. And we are very happy if we have been of assistance for you. Science Council of Japan is a representative organization of the Japanese scientist community. We have been a national member of the IAC since 1949. The decision for WDS IPO was made in 2010 through an open international call. I have heard that the decision to bring WDS IPO to Japan was realized as a result of the tremendous coordination efforts made by many professors involved in the ISC activities, including the former president of the Science uh, Council of Japan, the late Professor Kanazawa, the former Vice President, Professor Doi, the former co-data president, Professor Iwata, who is my good friend, and so on. In Japan, uh, discussions on the emerging concept of open science and the management, preservation, and sharing of research data reflecting international trends are becoming more and more active within the academic community and the government. On the 3rd June of this year, the Science Council of Japan published an official recommendation statement as a Japanese document 
translation of its title will be Trust the Evolution and Promotion of Open Science. Our president, Yamagiwa, also actively participated in the discussion. The issue of data is an unavoidable topic for the promotion of global science, not only as a tool uh, for problem solving, but also as a global intellectual infrastructure of the modern science and technology based civilization. Uh, during the COVID-19 crisis, uh, we recognize once again the importance of this science. The Science Council of Japan will try to commit to a closer partnership with ISC in this regard too, and we'll do our best to contribute uh, to the construction of a better science in the future and the dissemination of the global voice of science as stated in the IESC uh, mission. The nature of the WDS program is global and of great importance for science and society to this large extent. I believe it will be essential for the development of the sustainable global society in the future. I would like to also thank NICT's uh, team led by Professor Murayama to host the WDS IPO for operating uh, such an important center of excellence for 10 years in Japan. And for all the members of the WDS National Committee chaired by him too, as well as all members of the Kodata National Committee of Japan who are very uh, in very good uh, partnership uh, with them. Finally, I would like to pay tribute to all the support by ISC as well as the members of the WDS scientific committee and the staff of WDS IPO at present and in the past. I wish all the success for this uh, very important uh, meeting. Thank you very much for your listening. Okay, thank you very much, Professor Takeuchi. Yeah, we are very much pleased to hear your very warm message. And uh, it's very much happy if the WSIPO and WDS activities uh, uh, make a contribution to the Science Council of Japan too and a better partnership. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, we had a so, uh, three very important people's uh, speeches here. And next we have uh, messages from abroad, outside Japan, and uh, the, we are uh, having uh, some pre-recorded videos uh, from the president of the IFC, International Science Council, they are ready. Uh, they, so could you start uh, his video, please? Good afternoon. On behalf of the International Science Council, it gives me great pleasure to address you on this occasion to express our gratitude to the Japan National Institute of Information and Communications Technology, the NICT, for its 10 years of hosting the International Programs Office of WDS, the World Data System. The World Data System is an interdisciplinary body of the International Science Council, created by our predecessor organization, ICSU, the International Council for Science, at its General Assembly in 2008. This development followed a legacy of more than 50 years of World Data Centers and Associated Data Analysis Services established by ICSU in response to the challenge of data generated during the International Geophysical Year 1957 through 58. By 2008, however, it had become clear that a new body was required to be able to respond fully to modern data needs. And this led to the foundation of the World Data System in 2009. It is noteworthy that NICT commenced its hosting of WDS in 2009, right at the outset, a mere five years after its establishment in 2004. The enormous support, hospitality and the conducive environment 
provided by the Japan NICT during this period, has enabled the WDS to further advance universal and equitable access to scientific data and information across all disciplines and countries. As a result, over this period, the WDS has built a strong global membership of over 130 members and worldwide communities of excellence, promoting open data sharing, data and service quality, and data preservation globally. Through the creation of the Core Trust Seal certification and the development of the data sharing principles, WDS has made a significant contribution also in promoting sustainable and trustworthy data infrastructures. All of these achievements would not have been possible without the generous support and hosting arrangements provided by the NICT. Advancing open science is one of today's utmost priorities of international science. It is also one of the core priorities for the International Science Council, a body whose membership includes academies and science councils from 40 countries, as well as 40 international disciplinary unions and associations. In that joint endeavour, the work of WDS on enabling universal and equitable access to scientific data, data services, products and information is more critical than ever. On behalf of the International Science Council, I should like to thank a number of organisations and individuals whose support very generously over the last decade has made the work of WDS such a great success. Professor Tokuda Hideyuki is president of the NICT. We thank Professor Hideyuki as well as vice presidents and their predecessors as presidents and vice presidents of NICT for their generous support over the past decade. MIC, the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications of Japan, is the parent ministry of NICT. The WDS IPO could be created at NICT because the Ministry accepted an invitation by the Science Council of Japan to host the International Programs Office. The Science Council of Japan and its Presidents and Vice Presidents, by virtue of their positions, are able to make decisions on forming international academic liaisons and partnerships. Professor Kazuhiko Takeuchi is the current SCJ Vice President in charge of International Affairs and we thank him very sincerely as well as the President of the Science Council of Japan and their predecessors. The Japanese National Committees of WDS and CODATA are the main bodies who give practical and scientific support to the work of the International Programs Office. Professor Yasuhiro Moriyama, the WDS Scientific Committee member, ex officio, as a representative of the host institute, NICT, and current chair of WDS National Committee at the Science Council of Japan, is sincerely thanked for his support. Last but not least, we are very grateful to Professor Takashi Watanabe, WDS International Programs Office Senior Advisor and former Chair of the WDS National Committee. I thank you. Okay. <clears throat> thank you very much uh, for the, uh, the message that I've seen. Uh, I, if any uh, personnel from ISC here, then uh, I would like to say thank you very much for your uh, contribution and for your support. Okay, so uh, we direct uh, it forward to the next message from the uh, 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 Professor Alexander de Chavinin, who is the chair of the scientific committee of the WDS, and uh, also he is unfortunately uh, another me uh, schedule here, and he has a video. And uh, could you start the uh, Alexa video, please? Greetings. Honorable Hidayuki Tokuda, President, 
National Institute of Information and Communications Technology, or NICT, Honorable Raichi Fuji, President, Research Organization of Information and Systems, or RICE, Honorable Kazuhiko Takoichi, Vice President, Science Council of Japan, and distinguished colleagues. Ten years ago, NIT, NICT was chosen from among multiple expressions of interest to host the International Program Office, or IPO, of the World Data System. It committed to a five-year hosting arrangement. Ten years later, we are gathered today to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the IPO hosting by NICT, and to give thanks to our Japanese colleagues for providing a stable and well-funded home for WDS's large and growing suite of international data related activities. I've been on the WDS Scientific Committee since 2015 and Vice Chair since 2018 and Chairperson since the beginning of 2020. I have fond memories of visits to Japan including a trip to Tokyo in April 2016 and a trip to Kyoto in October 2017 for Scientific Committee meetings. The hospitality of NICT and our Japanese hosts was exemplary and each scientific committee meal broadened my culinary horizons as we sampled the various regional cuisines of Japan. Despite my visits to Japan and favorable experiences interacting with our Japanese colleagues, I lack institutional memory. So to gain a longer term perspective, I asked Bernard Minster, the first chair of the WDS Scientific Committee, and Mustafa Makran, the former WDS IPO Executive Com Director, to share their own recollections of the early days of the IPO hosting arrangement. For his part, Bernard shared his remarks at the inauguration of the IPO. At that time in 2011, Bernard spoke of WDS's desire to go beyond East-West collaboration and cooperation in order to develop data repositories in the Global South. And this remains a strong interest of WDS and one which we will address at the members forum later today. He also spoke of the growth of digital data in his closing remarks. He said, finally, there is of course the data explosion. In 2010, the global information size was about one zettabyte or about one million million gigabytes. By 2020, this is expected to grow by a factor of 30 to 50. Even with new technologies, the globally available storage will be too small by perhaps an order of magnitude. So a difficult question faced by all data repositories and data services in the world, as well as WDS, will be, what data do we simply abandon and what data do we keep at great expense? Bernard may be forgiven if his estimate was a little off the mark. According to one estimate today, the world generated 33 zettabytes of data in 2018 alone. This is equivalent to 660 billion Blu-ray discs or 330 million of the world's largest hard drives. And the question remains, how do we identify the most important data and safeguard them for future generations in order to help them solve scientific and social problems? Turning to Mustafa, he shared this memory in writing. I'm not sure if you're aware that there was big uncertainty around the hosting of the WDS IPO at NICT because of the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami that hit Japan in March 2011. The first site visit at NICT took place in December 2010 with Bernard, Michael Diekenbrook, the vice chair at that time, and the ICSU and now ISC executive director, Delian Chang. And the hosting period was due to start in April 2011. Alas, in March 2011, everything was literally shaken. Fortunately, the determination of our colleagues at NICT prevailed and the inauguration of the office took place only a year after the disaster. The fact that the IPO was established in spite of these circumstances represents a singular example of fortitude in the face of adversity. Now we mark the 10th anniversary with a new disaster, this one being global in scope. The coronavirus pandemic has shaken many people's confidence. But one thing is clear, we will need well-functioning data systems and a worldwide network of trustworthy da digital data repositories 
in order to navigate the challenges that humanity faces over the coming years. In closing, I want to acknowledge the extremely hard work that Rory Edmonds has put into directing the work of the IPO over the, the past three years. His dedication has been exemplary and he has represented WDS in the International Data Committee very effectively. I also want to say a special thanks to two people without whose tireless efforts the IPO could not have succeeded. The first is Professor Yasuhiro Murayama, who serves as the liaison between the IPO and NICT and who is also an ex officio member of the WDS Scientific Committee and current chair of the WDS National Committee at the Science Council of Japan. Murayama-san has worked very hard to ensure the continuity of funding and support for the IPO and has helped to reconcile different approaches to administrative matters and to address various bureaucratic hurdles. We are very grateful for his efforts. The second is Professor Takashi Watanabe, WDS IPO Senior Advisor and former Chair of the WDS National Committee. Watanabe-san has been a huge supporter of WDS and the IPO, and his enthusiasm for data and the scientific endeavor are infectious. So when planning for this event started last year, I was greatly looking forward to being with you in person in Tokyo to celebrate this important anniversary and to lift a glass of sake with a hearty kampai. I'm so sorry that we could not be there in person to thank you, but we are grateful to you all and to Royce for offering us this opportunity to mark this important anniversary and for hosting the WDS Members Forum. In closing, from the bottom of my heart, I wish to say, as Bernard did 10 years ago, thank you, Japan. Nippon, domo arigato gozai mashita. Okay. Yeah, it was very much impressive message. Uh, thank you, Alex. Uh, uh, the, uh, honestly speaking, uh, I didn't expect so much uh, 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 thank you message for, for myself uh, here. That, uh, it's a too uh, great honor for me. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, so there I have to uh, go forward. Uh, with the next, uh, uh, the, so uh, the Professor Elaine Faustman, Vice Chair of Scientific Committee. Again, uh, the, her video is ready here. Could you start, please? Hello, my name is Elaine Faustman, and I'm a member and co chair of the World Data Systems Steering Committee. It is with great gratitude that I speak as co-chair of the World Data Systems Steering Committee and on behalf of this committee to send special thanks to Japan and to the National Institute for Information and Communications Technology for hosting the International Program Office of the World Data System. I joined the scientific committee in 2014 and thus have known WDS largely as defined by the exceptional hosting of the International Program Office by the National Institute. I have included a few slides to remind myself as a resident of the Pacific Rim and academic researcher and professor at the University of Washington in Seattle in the School of Public Health that a few months ago we were able to visit Japan. The Japanese Friendship Garden in Seattle represents Japan's long-lasting and ever-growing collaborations that exemplify Japan's reach across oceans and politics to facilitate common scientific and technical exchange. This outreach has been evident within the International Program Office. Each of us from the WDS Steering Committee that are speaking today have been asked to focus on specific points that the National Institute as the International Program Office has facilitated during their successful 10 years of hosting the IPO. I am addressing my experiences as a committee member, co-chair, and domain specialist. 
To be a member of an esteemed international committee convened by the International Science Council and hosted by Japan at their National Institute of Information and Communications Technology with the name of the World Data System. It is a commitment that all steering committee members do not take lightly. The IPO for 10 exceptionally successful years has facilitated the WDS activities with a view to excellence, innovation, and forward strategic thinking and integration. The domain specialization among the steering committee members represents the diversity of the unions of the International Science Council and thus have provided a tremendous insight into the scientific realms that all of us as a community of data scientists as well as the world data system must address. But has also represented some of the challenges that the IPO has had to embrace. The WGS steering committee members have also represented expansive technical law, technical, technical data expertise. This scientific and technical and global and regional breadth of the WGS was embraced by Japan within the International Program Office and as evidenced by the symposium today, challenge all of us to acknowledge that our role is to ensure global collaboration in data beyond disciplines. And this has been very important. These successes would not have been achieved except for the exceptional individuals who have served as Alice, Alex has so correctly acknowledged within the senior leadership at the National Institute and those who are serving directly with the world data systems. This has included Yoshiro Miriyama, IPO host and director, the Integrated Science Data Systems Research Laboratory at the National Institute, and Takahashi Watanabe, who has served as senior advisor. Roy Edmonds is our current acting executive director, and I want to say special thanks to all of them. It is thus with great gratitude that I speak as co-chair of World Data Systems Steering Committee and on behalf of our steering committee to send special thanks to Japan and the National Institute of Information and Communications Technology for the successful decadal hosting of the International Program Office of the World Data Systems. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, that's uh, my affiliation was a little bit old name, but uh, anyway, uh, it is great. Uh, a message from the west coast of the US. Uh, okay, now we are coming back to the uh, uh, speakers who are attending in person now. Then, so uh, uh, are there uh, keynote speaker, Professor Mark Parsons? Uh, told us that the identifier is uh, really key for the data uh, usage in uh, science and society and the uh, ORCID is uh, one of the important identifier organizations uh, for research and contributors and now the, today is a representative from the Asia Pacific region that uh, Professor Estelle Chen is uh, going to speak uh, for the orchid, could you start? Uh, yeah, uh, thank you. Page. So you are going yeah, to share your slide, right? Yeah, I'm going to share my screen. So okay. thank you, Professor Yasuhiro Mongayami. So let me share my screen. All right, can you see my screen now? It's going on now. Is it? Okay, I think. Is I it haven't seen now? yet. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Perfect. it comes. Okay, let me, yeah, I'm going to present in full screen mode, but currently, okay, just let me check. Probably okay. voice quality is lower on there. I will cut my videos and uh, if it's... Uh, is, it, is it better now? So, Esther, could you try to uh, stop your video? Uh, okay, too? sure. Let me turn off my camera in a minute. Uh, let me stop sharing. 
screen. All right, let me share my screen again. Okay. Oh, here you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is better, much better. Yeah, thank <laughs> okay, you appreciate it. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's Chechi Esto Chen. I'm the ORCID APEC Engagement Manager. So on behalf of ORCID, it's my pleasure today to speak a little bit more about WS and ORCID partnering to support sharing of research data. And I would like to send our greetings, happy anniversaries, and congratulations, congratulations all over again. And we wish every success uh, to this symposium. So I would like to start by briefly uh, stating OKIS Vision. OKIS Vision is a world where all who participate in research, scholarship, and innovation are uniquely identified and connected to their affiliations and contributions across time, disciplines, and borders. So ORCID is really a community-driven organization. We work with our members and the partners like World Data System. We work together to build trust to enable sharing. So in the scientific world, discoverability of scientific data and services is essential for supporting open research. And there are natural connections between ORCID and the World Data System because both share related missions in terms of tracking, sharing, and reusing research data. The nature of partnership between ORCID and WDS was born back in 2016 in the International Data Week in Denver. And to improve the way of tracking, sharing, and reusing research data, open information infrastructure is needed to create trusted linkages between researchers, data centers, publishers, funding organizations, even research organizations, etc. So yeah, as the key, one of the keynote speakers addressed, persistent identifier pits for people like ORCID, uh, places like research organization registry, and for things like data sets DOI, they are really fundamental elements in anchoring and referencing information in a trusted and interoperable way. So here I want to quickly recap uh, in the, what OK is doing in the past few years in terms of data sharing and management. So according to the OECD report, OK has become a de facto standard. And in terms of partnership, in the past few years, ORCID has been in partnership with the international data community. So some of them, including the Coalition for Publishing Data and IGS, and I'm sure we will have uh, many opportunities to explore that during the symposium. And RAID Research Activity Identifier and ORCID is also involved in some of the RDA working groups. In terms of data repositories, so data repositories platforms are really one of the key components in research data management or sharing research data. In, back in 2018, Orkey has formed a task force and a diverse of different repository experts and representing different countries. They developed uh, recommendations for uh, using Orkey in repositories. And now the priority for ORCID and the repository community will be advocating for adoption of PITs into different repository platforms. And some of examples now are supporting ORCID like Triad, Fixture, or DSpace. Yeah, there is going to be a workshop between ORCID and WDS specifically in this, this Thursday to address issues like adoption of PITs in Asia, uh, Oceania region. And that workshop aims to raise awareness about PITs and uh, their use across different regions or scientific disciplines. Meanwhile, we also want to explore a practical case of using persistent identifiers into national systems or national data repositories. And by showcasing these different standards or best practices, we're really hoping to identify more opportunities and benefits. And I would like to say special thanks uh, to Dr. Rory Adams from WDS to have planning the session with me. And we believe that uh, there are three dimensions 
for ORCID and WDS to work more closely together in terms of collaborations. The first is to adopt persistent identifier speeds for data sets to enable discoverability. And uh, we very much hope to work more closely together to promote use of ORCID or other different persistent identifiers in data set deposit workflows to enable citation and the interoperability. Last but not least, we would like to work more closely together on promulgating certification schemas for data repositories. And here are some references. And I would say thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, that was a, a very much comprehensive uh, review for your activities. And uh, yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, uh, we are uh, expecting your uh, WS Oki to workshop uh, during this symposium. So it's great. All right. Yeah. So uh, I'd like to move on to the uh, uh, the speech from the uh, Dr. Rory Edmonds, who is the acting uh, executive director of the WDS IPO. And uh, I hope you can share your screen successfully. Yeah, I'm hoping so too. Do, does everybody hear me and see my presentation? Yeah, for me, your voice is clear, that's fine. Okay, and the presentation is available for everyone. Yes, yes I see. Okay, lovely. So, um, thank you very much for this opportunity to, to speak and actually to be the, the closing speaker, which is a, a double-edged sword because people have already said a lot, but it also means hopefully I can skip through some parts quite quickly. So, I've called this uh, 10 years of success for the WDS IPO hosting by NICT. And I'm Rory Edmonds. I'm the Acting Executive Director of the World Data System. Um, so just to give you a brief outline of, of, my, of my sort of uh, uh, interactions with WDS, I joined the, um, the WDS International Program Office in August uh, 2012, so that was approximately uh, four to five months after it had, had been inaugurated, and I was originally the WDS Program Officer with a role to support and coordinate um, the WDS membership. And then in 2018, I became the acting executive director, uh, combining the above role with uh, the overall managing of, of the IPO. So I was kind of um, unsure what to show you in this presentation, but I thought the, that what I would try to do is outline some of the, the landmarks of WDS over the last 10 years um, during the hosting period. Um, to really sort of highlight what we've achieved um, and show uh, and make it clear that um, you know without this uh, without the support of NICT this wouldn't have been possible. This is not by any means comprehensive, and I wouldn't say it's exactly exactly um, in in completely the correct order, but it's approximate. Um, so as already mentioned, uh, NICT was due to host from April 2011, but uh, we were, were delayed by the, the Great East Japan earthquake and tsunami. Um, that didn't mean though that, that NICT and WDS was sat on its laurels uh, and um, actually we had the first WDS um, uh, uh, conference that was held in Kyoto um, in that year. And so around a, a hundred or so people uh, from the international uh, scientific data community came to Kyoto to, um, to already um, be part of the WDS community. Um, as as uh, mentioned in uh, May 9th in 2012, the official WDS IPO inauguration happened and, and a signing of a letter of cooperation between uh, NICT and, uh, and um, ICSU as it was at that time, so for a five-year period. By towards the end of 2012, the WDS IPO had a full contingent of staff, and um, using having that full contingent of staff meant that we could have a strong presence at what was the 23rd Codata International Conference, which was held in Taipei. And at that time, we, ha we held the first WDS Members Forum. So WDS is a member-based organization, 
and by this point we'd already opened the membership and uh, as you can see we were in we actually were had an overflow of people standing in the room it, we, we uh, so we were making strong inroads by this point um, if we move on to sort of the period 2013 2015 um, we can see uh, that WDS started to create its working groups. These were very important in being able to work on specific topics of, of interest to the community. And one of the most important ones was started at that time was the publishing data working group that actually became two interest groups and three working groups under what was then the new Re uh, Research Data Alliance. Um, another um, a big important event on, uh, in uh, 2013 was uh, the first in, uh, international um, uh, polar data forum. This was held um, alongside Kanao-san and, and NIPR um, in Tokyo uh, on, in October of that year. And again, we had around 100 people from bo both polar communities coming together for the first time. So this was really, really the first time that um, Arctic and Antarctic data steward specialists got in the room together to talk about shared um, uh, issues and, and shared solutions. So it was re really quite an, a, land, a major landmark event. Um, in early 2014, th again, thanks to NICT funding, we were able to uh, uh, create the WDS website. Uh, this is what it looked like at that time. And also an integrated membership management tool and um, issue tracker. And this really was a step change for the IPO in, in the sense of being able to, to, to manage the certification scheme that was part of the, the WDS membership and also as a communications tool. Um, in that year as well, we, we, uh, we had the very first call for nominations for, for the WDS Data Stewardship Award. This is a very, very popular award that, that was created to recognize excellence of early career researchers. Um, we've just put the new call out for 2020. So um, please, uh, if you know of uh, any, any wonderful early career researchers that should be recognized, please put them forward. Um, Another interesting development by, by the, uh, 2014 was that Codata and WDS had decided to, instead of having separate conferences, to create a new joint conference called SciDataCon. And the initial SciDataCon was in New Delhi, in India, and it had the second WDS members forum. And this is the, the, the participants of the members forum. Again, we had a very, very full room. So we were, you know, you could see that developments were growing. 2015 to 2017, uh, one of the first things that happened was that Codata, RDA and WDS decided to really strengthen their relationship and they announced a partnership and signed MOUs to, to sort of show that to the, the, um, general, uh, to the community. And then one of the, the really major and wonderful things for the IPO was that um, after a very, very positive review by NICT and ICSU, um, it was actually decided that the hosting agreement for the IPO would be renewed for a further five years and that NICT would actually cr increase its, its support for the IPO. So I, I, um, I can't, can't express my gratitude enough for that happening. Um, as was mentioned by Professor Reddy, WDS also developed um, its new data sharing principles and these were released at the end of that year. Um, I won't go into them because I don't have um, time. Um, other thing, uh, so then moving into 2016, we actually had an anniversary event, fit, the equivalent of the five-year equivalent of, of this current event, and so we held that in Tokyo. Um, and other things that happened that year was um, the release of what's known as the Scholix framework. So Liu Shuang mentioned earlier on about the importance of linking um, data to articles, and that is exactly what the Scholix framework aims to do. And this was a joint endeavor coming out of the publishing data interest group that I mentioned uh, with the RDA. And we got a lot of the major players within the publishing um, in, uh, community uh, involved in this to help develop this framework for linking, interlinking um, articles, scholarly articles with the, with the data. Um, and so the you could find one from the other and vice versa. Um, and we moved even beyond SciDataCon in, in 2016 by also partnering with RDA um, to, uh, with an RDA plenary to create 
what's now known as International Data Week. So the first International Data Week was held in Denver. So 800 members of the community joined us in Denver for this event. And at the same time, we had the, the, the third members forum. So you can see that we're building, we're progressing, we're really making, uh, you know, uh, we're sort of connecting with the community. And moving to 2017, 2019, 2017 was really, really dominated by um, the core trust seal. So uh, by this point, um, and again, under the RDA, the World Data System and the Data Seal of Approval were, had worked together to harmonize their certification standards and had come up with what was known as the core trustworthy data repository requirements. So this was adopted by both organizations and a, a common certification board created. And by the end of that year, it was actually then sort of created the core trust seal as a standalone um, organization. Um, one of the, th the, the major things that, that was of, of importance to WDS, and again, the Global South has been mentioned a number of times, is to really fill in the gaps, help fill in the gaps in the WDS membership. So WDS has understandably struggled to make some inroads into uh, uh, in, uh, uh, data repositories, data centers, uh, data services in the Global South. And the hope was to, to work with those communities to really understand what their needs were and hopefully move some of them towards being certified WDS members. So, um, sorry, that's the Core Trust SEAL logo. Um, so we had our, our, uh, an African workshop that took place in Grenoble, uh, sponsored by the IRD. Um, and we also had then had an Asia Oceana conference held at Kyoto University. Um, in uh, 2018, we also had a, a Latin American Caribbean um, scientific data management workshop. So that was held in Rio de Janeiro. Um, and unfortunately, because of the COVID situation, we were due to have another this year, but uh, that's been, been put on hold. Um, and another major import, uh, event of importance that year uh, in 2018 was the opening of the WDS International Technology Office, which is the counterpart to the IPO. This is hosted at the University uh, of Victoria. NICT um, helped in, in the sense of giving us practical advice um, on, on the hosting arrangements and also um, they, the, um, how can I say, um, I, I'll, anyway, I'll, I'll leave that. But the, but the basic reason, reasoning is the uh, ITO, as it's known, was really modeled on the IPO and the experiences that we'd had with NICT. So it was really important in that regard. Um, we had the next International Data Week. This was held in Botswana. It was a wonderful event. It was opened by the president of Botswana, 850 people, a huge number of them of whom were from local African countries. So, and, and again, you can see the sort of building. And finally, where we are now, 2019 to 21. Well, there's been a little bit of a slowdown this year. Um, uh, but some of the things that have been happening, we had um, a second uh, Asia Oceana conference last year. Um, we published our second strategic plan. And um, one very, very nice thing was that we were invited to the UNESCO headquarters by the uh, IUGG, where we were given a commemorative plaque for our partnership with the IUGG. Um, another nice event that we had in, in 2020 and a new development for WDS was holding a training workshop. This was again focused on early career researchers. This was, this was our first foray into to sort of hosting and organizing a, a, a training workshop and, and it was a, a really wonderful event, really successful. And finally, um, I, uh, Data Together has already been mentioned, so I won't um, I won't dwell on that. But uh, yes, the very recent development is the the Data Together, um, the joining of the, the four organisations, including GoFair, and very very recently the um, endorsement of the trust principles. So. Um, WDS really its mandate is about trustworthiness of, of data and data repositories and that's where this why we're so invested in the certification of data repositories and the trust principles are really kind of a, a, a fundamental foundational way of thinking about the trustworthiness of data repositories and WDS had several authors that were involved in this and, and obviously were keen to endorse. So 
Um, I'd like to end by really saying thank you. Uh, I think it cannot be really um, underplayed. It cannot be underemphasized as to how important it has been over these last 10 years for the WDS IPO to be hosted by NICT and for WDS to have achieved what it has would not have been possible without NICT. This is just, there's no way we could have done what we did, uh, what we have done without NICT. So I want to thank um, all of the NICT and the SCJ presidents and vice presidents for their huge support over the past 10 years, as, as well as the, the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communication. And I'd also like to personally thank um, uh, Mariama san and Watanabe san, without whom the day to day running of the IPO would wouldn't would be impossible we would just wouldn't be they wouldn't be able to do it without their help so thank you so much to all those people and finally from uh, on behalf of WES welcome to the um, international symposium on uh, global collaboration on data beyond disciplines um, I hope uh, you enjoy it thank you very much uh, Professor Rory Edelmans uh, executive director of WDS uh, that was a great talk to overview of uh, the uh, past achievement uh, of the WDS. Uh, actually, uh, the uh, WDS has left a very much important footprint in uh, international global science communities. And uh, yeah, okay, thank you very much. Uh, the, in the program, we have a uh, Still, the another entry discussion. Then uh, I wonder what to do. That in uh, uh, if there's uh, any uh, few questions or comments from the uh, uh, audience, and uh, uh, we are having still a few minutes remaining. Uh, that's uh, okay. I have no question, but that's uh, uh, thanks, uh, Rowan, and uh, thanks uh, for the Japan for the good job for uh, WDS for the last 10 years. It's not easy. And 10 years is day by day, year by year. So it's not easy. Thank you so much. You're a good job. Thank you very much, Professor Chang. That's, uh, yeah, I am sorry uh, we cannot see you in person, but you know, your codata, Chinese codata's contribution is was also very great for us to uh, the international community. Uh, yeah, that's in, a, the, in that sense, in a, a, our Asian collaboration is a, one of the uh, important part of, for Japanese community and uh, Professor Mazen Osman, uh, the region, regional office of uh, Asia Pacific of IFC. Uh, is now trying to have uh, a further effort to make a, a new data enterprise in the Asian area. That is uh, very much grateful. Uh, yeah, and uh, okay, I'm trying to close uh, this session. Thank you very much. And uh, I'd like to add a comment that uh, so you can see that uh, uh, um, so many efforts has been taken to uh, data issues and the data is uh, still too much complex uh, targets uh, to tackle. Uh, as you know, that's in, uh, for instance, in, uh, books or journals are sometimes, uh, it's a simple packages of information and the library science uh, has been made a very, a uh, successful achievement in uh, making uh, organization of the information uh, in the book format and the uh, paper format, but the data is too much heterogeneous. And uh, so now in a coupled system between the uh, digital technology, digital infrastructure and the, uh, uh, this data management and the kind of the soft technology uh, together with the culture changes. Uh, will open a new world, a new community to have a, a future, more sustainable society uh, of the, in a global scale. So the uh, uh, NICT uh, has a very much uh, grateful for uh, 
having this opportunity to host the WSIPO and uh, uh, thank you very much for any, uh, all the uh, members of the global science communities and the stakeholder organizations. And uh, I would like to uh, yeah, close this session with our, our thankful uh, uh, message. Uh, thank you very much. So, Professor Kanao, then uh, can I close the session now? Uh, okay, please. Yeah, uh, thank, thank you, you very much, much for facilitating the uh, yeah, uh, latter half uh, to uh, Murayama san, Professor Murayama. Okay, uh, we're almost uh, finishing that uh, allocated time for three hours from the beginning. So we'll close the opening session. Uh, thank you for your uh, participation to the opening.